Hello, MGTOW. Hello, men. This is Howard Dare. Thanks for stopping by. So I want to talk about our relationships, how we get along with other people, because within MGTOW, there is a lone wolf mentality, okay? And it's perfectly understandable. The good man, the man who... Uh, honorable man. He's trying to do what's right by the people around him, but he's also trying to advance himself, okay? And you can have a very young conception of this. In other words, you know, he just wants to get ahead at almost any price, but he also wants to get along with the people around him. And he does his best. And of course, he encounters, you know, this gynocentric, uh, collective herd mentality from a consumer mindset, which is basically reducing him down to a commodity and will, you know, essentially destroy him. Okay. So he's really upset. Okay. He turns his back. He goes his own way. Hopefully he finds something like MGTOW. Okay. But at first he's very angry. He's, he's angry with himself for having depended on a system that he feels betrayed him and turned its back on him and harmed him and holds him in contempt, okay? And this is a perfectly reasonable uh, interpretation of what's going on, at least event by event, not overall. As a result, he shuns everything. He shuns all relationships. He shuns the interaction. He's angry. And when you have some interaction with him, hey, how you doing? He's like, you know, what do you care? Who are you? What are you going to do? I don't like your shoes, right? He's going to find fault. He's going to do all these things. And it's going to destroy the relationships around him. Right, so you know people are going to be like, oh, no, 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 I don't, I don't need to say good morning to this guy because he's got a bad attitude, or he doesn't like, it. or you know he questions my motives. Right. Especially when you come into like a group setting, okay, which is where the young MGTOW, uh, you know, the person could be fifty years old. It's not a question of chronological age; it's a question of your awareness of you know this type of information. Uh, essentially this idea that the system itself is geared against you, okay? And a lot of things are open to interpretation, okay? A lot of things are dependent on how you look at things. A lot of things don't matter nearly as much as you think they do, but how you respond to them and interact with them matters a great deal. This, this is, I feel this is, you know, one of these types of situations. So one of the things that the responsible man does is maintain the relationships. He's, he's got good relationships with the people around him. This is valuable, okay? This is not like money that you put in your pocket. Uh, this is not like uh, supplies that you have stored up for, you know, the winter. This is how people used to have to do it. Now I'm thinking about that. Now I'm imagining myself, you know, three, four hundred years in the past, uh, saving up the food for the winter, things like that. Uh, but it is a responsible, mature way to go about things. Uh, relationships have this similar quality. Uh, understand that people trying to get by through the hard winter through the harsh conditions. Our ancestors, they might need help from one of their neighbors. They, they might need to come to their neighbor and say, hey, you've got livestock. Uh, my family, my people, they're not going to make it through the winter without a cow or two. I don't have any money right now. You know, I'm a farmer. Can I have a cow or two to get me through the winter? And, you know, after the spring harvest, I will pay you back with interest, right? Now, if they trust each other, they can make this arrangement. And as long as everybody keeps their word, do you understand? This builds a similar-minded community, okay? So that relationship is actually worth a lot more than a couple of cows to get you through the winter, although that may save your life. Maintaining fairness and equity with this other trading part over the long game will enable you to have this exchange of value, perhaps, when the time comes. This is wisdom. This is being wise. We come from people like that. This is how you get by. This is one of the ways, one of the tools that you use to get by in the system. Could you uh, decide that you don't like somebody, you don't like the way they look at the world, let's say, you know, uh, Trump derangement syndrome, and then just find fault and be critical of everything they do and everything they try to do? Yeah, of course you can do that. You, you can do what you want, but will that serve you? Well, in some instances, people want drama. They want distraction. Uh, they don't want to look, you know, deeply at their own situation. Uh, they would like to be distracted and get into a small argument. Indeed, this might be the way that they were raised and, you know, this is their daily interaction. Uh, my parents would fight all the time. The idea of having, you know, some sort of minor verbal exchange to me, it doesn't mean a thing. Uh, people from back east, you know, it's like, what are you, dumbass? Don't you know how to drive a car? So there's this very rude confrontational initial interaction, but it's not based with like malice hostility that's enduring. You know what I mean? <laughs> 
It's, it is a, a very uh, surface momentary interaction, kind of like uh, having a hair pulled out, okay? It's painful, but only for a quick instant. Then it stops. It's not like an injury, okay, or an infection, which sits there and robs with pain continually. So this is, you know, a metaphor for how we hold our interactions and relations with, you know, the people that we interact with. Uh, the regard that we hold them, the story that we tell ourselves about them. You know, this is very interesting. People aren't always communicating with each other. They're communicating with a kind of avatar, uh, especially the women, especially the left. Understand, they have a conception of who they think, you know, a person is. So the ex-wife thinks that the ex-husband is worthless, okay, that uh, he's a deadbeat, whatever, okay? And he calls up and says, you know, hello, I'd like to come over and pick up the kids this week. And what she hears instead is, oh, you know, here's this deadbeat, here's this reprobate, here's this irresponsible person now trying to interact with me as if they are this responsible person who, who has maintained this, you know, equitable relationship with me. So instead of her saying, yeah, that'll be great. What time are you coming over? She says, oh, well, I wasn't expecting this. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be ready to, you know, to do this for you since you never, anyway, you understand she's communicating with her conception of who she thinks she's dealing with. And then it goes back the other way where the man is like, oh, this is, you know, this ball finding ball busting bitch who's just looking for things that are going wrong to then act superior and morally, you know, beat somebody over the head with this metaphorical stick. So he says, you know, he responds in this other angry, you know, thing. It's like, look, this is a legal requirement. Okay. You're required to be there. So I expect you to be there. And they're both talking to who they they think the other person is within their own mind. Now, they might be right, <laughs> right? The simulation that they have in the mind, you know, uh, that might be actually quite accurate. Uh, so you understand what I'm saying. Just, just try to get along with the people around you because you never know. Uh, I want to clarify some things based on my previous videos, which are pretty long, right? But I like, I like to do long videos. Uh, just this idea of some other world, okay, the, the, uh, you know, in their mind, uh, ideally, we all of this separation, I don't, I don't believe in it. I don't go in for it. I don't want to encourage the idea that there is some other reality, some other place, okay? It's all here right now between us. And some of the interaction between us, it's emotional. It has no substance. It, it's just based on how we interact. So you could say, oh, this is otherworldly. You know, you're, you're ascribing kind of a plutonic uh, ideal to material things, just as I was pointing out that we're often communicating with this avatar idea of who we think we'll talk to, as if these are two separate worlds. They're not, okay? This is one world. And if you try to separate these worlds, if you try to say, oh, well, there's this physical world, but then there's this mental other world where uh, these rules don't apply, right? You can't, you can't walk in a straight line anymore. Anymore. It's quite damaging to the human psyche, uh, or at least it is for me. So it's not something that I entertain. Is there a world of material being and a world of ideas? Yes. And guess what? They are, in fact, the same world. Okay, this is going to get a little metaphysically deep, but I'll make it quick. Uh, the ideas are the most accurate reflections that we can create of the material objective world. It's our simulation. It's, it's our uh, blackboard. It's our, it's our random access memory so that we can, you know, propose our theories, uh, test our math, then test it in the physical world. And then if it conforms, we get to say, oh, this, you know, this is a workable, good idea. Might not be 100%, but the basics, you know, you've got them. That's what the testing is about. So there is no separation between uh, the physical material world and and our mental idealistic conception of it. It is a reflection, the best one that we can possibly make of it. And this is how we navigate and find our way in the world. So when you start introducing foolish ideas into, you know, like certain ideas of subjectivism, it's like, oh, anything can be anything we want it to be. It's just the way you look at it, okay? Uh, you damage the ability to form an accurate conception of what the world is. And then the mind can't develop and keep building along these lines. Okay. So no other worldly separation. Just God is in his heaven, man is on the earth, and everything is right in the world. Okay. Don't don't go into the you know the mystical 
Gnostic stuff too much. Of course, it's intriguing uh, and it captures our attention and our fancy, but it's also a trap. It's a hook. It's a it's a fish hook with a worm on it. Okay, there doesn't need to be any secret knowledge to carpentry. It can just be carpentry. There can be tricks of the trade that you gather over time, but it's not in and of itself mystical and otherworldly. Because if it is, then we're in a lot of trouble. Because it means that we have to. It means we have no control or interaction ability. It's you know it's a witch doctor's way of looking at the world, and you don't want to go down that path. I know that most people are kind of in that path, and uh, it's not easy. It's not easy. Could you form a workable kind of metaphysical, spiritual... Uh foundation that allows you to function? Yes. You, you know, you pretty much, kind of. But it's a whole tricky situation and there's always going to be problems with it and you're always going to run in, you know, to these blind alleys, I think. I think. Uh, maybe that's just for me. So I just kind of wanted to make this little distinguishing bit of clarity, right? Like I'm not, when I'm talking about how we think about things, I'm not suggesting that there is this separate world. It's all this one world, okay? So I hope that, I hope that helps clarify it. I'm going to leave it at that for now. Let me know what you think about this, the other subject, uh, MGTOW in general, people getting along. Uh, let me know what you think about it in the comment section. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, donate. Donate to the Howard Dare channel. I'm not up here trying to get views or trying, you know, so that people can watch commercials that YouTube is putting on here, right? Would you like a commercial for a political contribution for a party that you don't agree with? Well, I'm not doing that. So if you can, support the Howard Dare channel. It'll help me create more content and speak uh, directly to these matters. I would really appreciate it. And join me again as I plan to have more content for you. Thank you. You make